This is how we used to make design specs. Manually entering measurements, drawing boxes to show spacing. It's very manual. And this is how specs look in dev mode. Automatic measurements, easy annotations, and more. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Today I'm showing you about dev mode, which makes developer handoff easier than ever before. Dev mode isn't only meant for developers. A good handoff takes more than just sending a link so the developer can inspect what's going on. Move over to the top right corner of the Figma UI. Right next to the share button, you'll see the toggle for dev mode. You can click that to switch into dev mode or use the shortcut Shift D. Now that we're in dev mode, you'll notice that we can change a few settings. You can choose your language and measurement unit in the right hand panel. Click on any element and the details will appear in the right panel. You'll see its entire recipe, things like colors, variables, component states, and even some code that can be used to create the same styles. In the upper left of the toolbar, you'll see four options. Inspect mode is what we've already been using. You can also activate the inspect tool with the shortcut V. The next tool in our menu is measure. We can switch into this tool with the shortcut Shift M. With the measure tool selected, you can add measurement units to your designs. To add a measurement, click and drag from the edge of one element to the edge of another. The measurement appears in orange. Let's add another one real quick. The tool after measure is called annotate. We can switch into this by clicking the icon or using the shortcut Shift T. In my opinion, this is one of the most useful tools for handing off designs to a developer. This is especially true if you are making changes to an already implemented UI. We can use the annotation tool to call out those specifics. Hover over elements and you'll see their layer name. Click on an element and you'll see a little popover appear. We can add some content to our annotation. This is the perfect place to write a note to your developer. Let's type updated card design. Now click the plus property button right below your text. This opens a dropdown and lists all the styles used. Let's pick the radius and fill since that's what's changing. Once you are done, click outside of the annotation. It's now connected to the card with the dotted green line. The next tool in dev mode is comments. We won't cover this in too much detail because it works the same as leaving comments outside of dev mode. The last morsel I want to point out in dev mode gives you a way to mark designs as ready for development. There are a few ways to mark things. With the frame selected, you'll notice a new icon in the top center toolbar that looks like code. Clicking this will mark your frame as ready for development. The same icon floats on the opposite side of the frame title above the blue selection box. If you have a set of screens that are ready, wrap them in a section. Press Shift S to switch into the section tool and draw a box over all of your screens. Give this section a good title. Right next to the title, you'll see the same icon as before. Clicking that will mark the entire section as ready for development. If you're already in dev mode and have a frame or section selected, you'll also see a button between the page list and the layer list on the left that lets you mark things as dev ready. Once a page has something in it marked, you'll notice a green ready for development icon appear next to the page title to make it really easy for developers to find those specs. With dev mode off, you can also tell there are annotations on a frame when you see this little green circle with a number in it. Clicking that will let you toggle on dev mode in another way. And that's how you make design specs with dev mode. I hope this Figma buy helps you dial in developer details. Thanks for watching.